What's up my pony nails, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As a child suggests, we're gonna be going over the heavy duty fluid head tripod that was recently released by the folks at Small Rig. Now they've been just churning out such good content, such good products here for, you know, from the lowest end to the highest end to their low end uh, iPhone accessories to their high end like rigs and mounts and all that good stuff for your professional gear. Let's jump into it, set it up, show you what it looks like here and in, in its use. This is not a sponsored video here. Uh, I have worked with small rig in the past. However, this I did purchase, pre-purchase and waited in line just like you guys. Finally open it up here. Oh, wow, talk about, talk about professional and heavy duty. Look at that, it comes with its own little box. It's carrying case that can go over the shoulder. You can loosen this just a tiny bit. You've got just a little bit to go over your shoulder here as a strap. I think that's really nice to be able to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up here for the first time. Hopefully it's pre-assembled, that's, that's really good. Okay, we got the plastic wrap here. Wow, this is such high quality. One other thing to note here inside the bag, you do have a little tiny zipper, a little mini zipper here that holds, is this the monopod? No, this holds the uh, arm. So, you know, if you're gonna be traveling with this, you can, uh, you can unscrew the fluid head arm here and put it in this little spot. There's also some hardware, I believe, the instructions and Allen wrench. A few bits of information here to let you guys know. The maximum working height here is 1800 millimeters. That's really tall. The minimum working height is 900 millimeters. Okay, putting that aside here. Go ahead now and take it out. The weight of the tripod itself is four kilograms and the maximum payload is eight kilograms. Pitch angle is 90 degrees to negative 75 degrees. All right, there it is, opened up. Wow, you even have a little uh, head mount here for the fluid uh, tripod mount. That's pretty cool. It's also lined with uh, foam. That's pretty awesome. Wow, this is really high quality, guys. It, uh, it stands about two and a half, three feet tall, as I already said. That is beautiful. Okay, we need to move this out of the way. Okay, changing up here uh, where I'm working, um, just to let you guys know what I'm currently using, it's this Caver K3 fluid head mount. Uh, I'm on top of an Albit tripod. It's a little janky, the head is way too heavy for the base, and so, you know, for the sake of production and making sure that as I add more heavy payloads here to this uh, unit, I wanna make sure that the base can hold it, so that's why I moved on. With that said, we're gonna be moving my current studio rig over, which has this monitor and uh, my Sony A7 III. Now we're grabbing the heavy duty tripod here from the folks at Small Rig. It's got these little clips here for your convenience to lock it in place. You're gonna have to un unlatch these here first in order to get access to the tripod. Once I do that, it'll go tight and it's got this crossbar here to provide you leverage and stability as you set it. Okay, showing you guys the maximum height here, you just unlatch the pieces on the legs at the bottom. That'll allow you to pull it up. That's where these legs pull up. Lock them into place. I mean, that in and of itself is almost five feet. And then you can unlatch these pieces right here to get it to your maximum height. This is ridiculous how tall this thing gets. I, I can't even fit that in frame. My heavens, it's more than six feet tall. That is like 6'3", I'm 6'2". I mean, you're only really gonna need to unlatch one of these. And even then, that is too tall, wow. There's another feature that I wanna show you here is that you can actually change the, the pitch. I think it's the roll. This, this would be considered the roll of it. Uh, you can line it up here center or you can have it go forward back. You've got, you know, maybe 20 degrees to, to fiddle with here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it straight forward and then lock it. That way you can see here now that it is level. Nextly, we're gonna go ahead and screw on the arm now. It just affixes right here and you've got the teeth and the uh, quarter inch mount to uh, adjust it here. 
I'm gonna try to decide which angle I want it here by uh, kind of filling with the head here in the direction that I'm gonna be uh, straightening it on. So you wanna have the elbow angled down when you hold it. So that should be sufficient for me. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on now. This will allow you to, uh, and you can even like let go of it and have it angled down more as it grabs the teeth. So we're gonna unlock the tilt, we're gonna unlock the pan, and you've got the fluid pan tilt movement here, which is pretty good. You can loosen a little bit if you wanna angle this arm a little bit more. I like the rubberization of the grip. It's really, really nice. Allows you to have free feeling action for this tripod. This is really, really robust. Okay, I'm gonna show you the quick release plate here. It's a little bit different than mine. Unfortunately, it doesn't have one of those uh, features where if it's loose here, then uh, the, quick, the, the release plate will lock. You have to push the button, that's not the case here. Uh, but it does have a quick release, so it, basically what you do is you have this in the quick release unlocking position. After you've loosened it all the way, uh, it, it can fit in place. You wanna pull it back in order to stay it in the, its spot. In order to quick release it, you unlock it, press the quick release button all the way, and it can it can come out like that. And then you can go ahead and put it back in by placing it in the same direction and then snapping it down and it locks into place. Otherwise, what you can do is just fully release it. It will not fall forward, which is nice. It does have that prevention here, so if the, uh, the, the tilt goes down, your camera won't fall out. You do have to pull it all the way back, sliding backwards. Lastly here, what's nice is it has a built-in uh, Allen wrencher if you wanna adjust any of the extra features. Okay, we're gonna be affixing my camera here to uh, the quick plate. As you can see, I've got the Allen wrench. What's nice here is you can use that to place it on. Okay, once you're done here with the quick release plate, you can go ahead and tighten it, line it up. Let's go ahead and bring this down. Slide it in and you're good. Tighten it and now you got it. Now one thing here that I'm noticing is as you put in a heavy, a heavier payload, you need to make sure that this is as tight as you can, otherwise it's going to fall in place. And there you go. You get your fluid, head mount. Fantastic. To re-demonstrate the quick release, you go ahead and unscrew this all the way, press the quick release, and you can just pull it right out. Put it back in, you can latch it right back into place, make sure this locks, and you lock it. That's nice. All right, my ponyos, well that about does it here. Hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful. You guys can see here how to switch, how to use, how to put together your heavy duty fluid head mount from the folks at Small Rig. I think it's a fantastic, um, option here that you guys can consider. It was only 150 bucks and I got mine pretty reasonably. Uh, right now, I think they're out of stock, but please consider checking down below in the links in the description, the product pricing availability, and uh, help supporting the channel. Thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.